Hello, today we are going to learn about support vector machine or SVM that is another type of supervised machine learning methods. Many times it is not possible to have any linear discrimination and finding a quadratic function to delineate groups is practically impossible which reduces prediction accuracy. In those cases, we can use another important classification method that you will see or use for your analysis of RNA-seq data. That is SVM or support vector machine. It is an algorithm that differs from other classification methods because it is optimal to find a complex boundary of a class in an efficient way. To do so, it uses a procedure for feature space transformation with a kernel function. For example, a circular class border can be achieved by a straight hyperplane if the space was curved in such a way that the classes are cut with a decision surface. Let's perform SVM on cell line data that we have already prepared. To find the SVM function, find the supervised analysis section of the TBIO-INFO platform. Now, Upload the test and the train files and build the pipeline. When you select SVM, you will see several inputs that have to be specified. Here you can select whether to scale classes, identify a cost parameter and select a kernel type, linear, polynomial, radial or sigmoid. Class scaling should be familiar to you already from previous classification and normalization methods. It scales classes to have the same distribution before boundary is found. Cost parameter is the penalty assigned to classification accuracy for violation of the class boundary. Kernel type is a measure of complexity for separation between classes. If the class overlay is minimal, the fastest kernel should be used linear. SVM output is all about prediction for the test data set. If the prediction is accurate, high accuracy will be determined. If the class separation has not been accurate, the cost parameter is high. Low accuracy will be reported. Changing the kernel type and reducing features in the test entry and data set will help improve accuracy. In our case, optimal separation can be achieved after feature selection. This procedure is possible using stepwise or greedy approaches as well as a tree selection by voting, as we will learn about it in the next section. To learn more about SVM or support vector machine, you can visit lesson number 14 under transcriptomics course on the omicslogic.learn portal.